let's create a support bar. Let's say that you want to uh, do a horseshoe arch and you're having a few issues with warping and post curing process, or you forgot to put one on during your RPD design, or maybe you're doing a lower denture and you need some extra support there. So what we're gonna do is just set up your printer as usual. And we're gonna do model today on a on ortho model. So you can see I'm gonna use white and I'm going to do a solid model. So I'm gonna use an orthodontic build style. I'm going to position it uh, vertically as well. So I'll hit set. I'm going to import the file now by hitting file. I'll just grab the first one on top. And I'm going to orient this quickly. So I just use the orient. You can also use transform, it's up to you. Hit set base and just uh, click on the surface that you'd like to be uh, facing the build platform. I am now going to generate my geometry and this will be the support bar. So I'm gonna use a cylinder and you really don't need much. So we'll make it less than a millimeter. And 50 is basically like a good cross arch number. So we'll hit set. And I like to use my view list. And we are going to use transform and move this onto the build platform. So let's look at top, top view here. And we will change that support bar to a 90 degree angle. Now it's sideways, and we'll just move it right into our arch. You know, I like to have my arch slightly angled so I don't have supports on the lingual. We'll just move that cylinder back in. And let's hit our supports. And go ahead and combine them if you have a, a cylinder or if you're going to have several arches overlapping each other. That way the supports aren't going through the other parts and generate your supports. Okay, and the supports are so small, they'll just snap right off of that. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. If it bothers you, then you can go ahead and go back into transform and rotate it slightly back. And if you hold shift, you can take it off the 10 degree. Okay. So you can just make all of your arches kind of overlapping each other at a slight angle and go ahead and generate your supports. I prefer not to modify my supports. I know that all my downward facing surfaces are correctly um, supported, so that way you're not um, risking having floating areas. Okay, so now I'm ready to add it to my queue. Thanks for watching.